In this video, we're going to carry out a calibration to this GYS step MIG. Uh, this has got amps, volts and wire speed. So as before, we'll open a calibration form. Uh, we're going to create new. And we can use the search engine to find a customer we've already used. Then we're going to enter the manufacturer, GYS. Then the model, a ProMig 400-4S. and then the serial number, which we'll get from the data plate. We'll then select what mode we're gonna calibrate in. This one we're gonna be doing in MIG, and then the type of equipment. This one's a power source. Has the safety test been carried out? With it being a brand new machine, there's no need to do the safety testing, so that's a no and then we select the meat type. We've have, we have digital meters. Next, again, from the data plate, we'll select the maximum rated current, which is 350 amps. Is there a voltmeter fitted? Yes. And then enter the max rated OCV, again, from the data plate. The supply voltage is then entered. This machine's 400 volts and the ambient temperatures recorded today, 17 degrees. We're gonna be doing a standard grade calibration and we're gonna preset our figures in amps. Now we're gonna select our five step points evenly spaced across the range. We have a welding range down here, 40 to 350 amps. That's the range we're gonna cover. So our minimum of 40, and then we've got our five evenly spaced set points across the range. And then we're ready to start. Using the special MIG adapter, we're gonna connect up to the positive side, making sure everything's tight, and then connect the negative side. Now we're all connected and we have our set points, we're ready to start taking readings. Our first reading, 40 amps, 16 volts, so the machine set to minimum, we can energize and load until we get approximately 14 amps and 16 volts within that 10%. We then take the MIG welding readings, which is 16.3 volts and 40 amps and enter that into the program. And then we enter the calibrator reading, 42 amps, 16.6 volts. We're now ready to take the second reading. Remembering with the transformer MIG, we want to set the voltage a couple of volts higher than we're looking for, because it will get pulled down when we apply load. So we've got 22.2. When I start applying load, that will come down so we can get our 120 amps and 20 volts. We enter the readings of 121 amps and 20.3 into the computer. and then enter the calibrator reading, 122 amps, 20.4. We're then ready to take our third reading, 200 amps and 24 volts. Again, set the welder a couple of volts higher. And then apply the load. We record 199 amps, 24.3. And then the calibrator reading, 202 amps, 24.1. Then we'll move on and take our next reading, 270 amps and 27.5 volts. Setting the volts a little bit higher, because as we add load, it's gonna bring that voltage down. Our 
and we record the welder reading 278 27.5 then the calibrator reading 276 amps 26.9 Now for the final reading, 350 amps, 31.5. So then we take the welder reading of 353, 32.3. And then the calibrator reading, 350, 31.2 we then confirm that all our readings are correct and then we're asked do we want to take wire speed in this case we do have a wire speed meter so it's yes we then asked are we going to calibrate or validate we're going to calibrate in inches or meters per minute then we're going to do our minimum speed of 4 meters per minute to the maximum of 20 meters per minute. Again, the program works out your evenly spaced range that we're going to calibrate across. For the wire speed readings, we're going to have to attach the taco. And then we're ready to take the wire speed readings. When taking the wire speed readings, there's a few different ways you can do that. Most machines have a jog function, so we can set the meters per minute and use the jog. We don't need to energize the machine. Uh, other machines will only read wire speed when there is load flowing. So we may need to put a small load on, trick the machine into thinking it's welding, and then we can take our wire speed readings. With this unit, we can simply trigger and set. four meters per minute and then we take the taco unit go surface to surface and take the calibrator reading 4.0 and then our next reading nine meters per minute Then we take the calibrator reading, 9.3 meters per minute. Then our third reading, 14 meters per minute. Then we take the calibrator reading, 14.6. Then our final reading, 20 meters per minute. And the calibrator reading of 21.2. Once we've entered the last wire speed reading, we'll be asked to confirm that the readings are correct, hit yes, which we can then quite simply and quickly email onto the customer. Again, all we'll need to do is attach a label saying the calibrated date and the due date, the standard applied and all your company details.